Hello, my name is Tim Tetrick, and I'm a Partner Technology Strategist with Microsoft. And I'd like to spend a few minutes taking you through a tour of the Azure portal. If you're new to Azure, this demo will help get you familiar with how to create, configure, and monitor services within Azure. Uh, we'll also look at how to add co-admins, how to check your services usage and open credits, and more. So what you're currently looking at here is the current Azure portal. Uh, there is a new portal experience that's currently in preview that will be coming out in the future, but for now I'm just going to concentrate this demo on this current uh, portal experience. So first off, to create new services, you just click on the New button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. It allows you to get to all of the Azure services from here. Um, the compute-based services for creating things like Azure websites, Azure virtual machines. I can get to my data services for creating things like uh, Azure SQL databases, creating Azure storage accounts, uh, recovery services for things like Azure Backup, uh, Azure Site Recovery. Uh, I can get to my app services for things like uh, Azure Remote App, uh, creating Azure Active Directory instances, and finally network services uh, for creating Azure Virtual Networks. All of my existing services are displayed here on the left. So from here I can view, monitor, and configure uh, existing services. Uh, if I go to the All Items view, um, it will show all the services that I currently have configured. Uh, we'll see uh, the, the service name, we'll see the service type, uh, the status of the service, uh, the subscription that the services are running in. So in this case, I have multiple subscriptions on my tenant and separated out here by Customer 1 and Customer 2, uh, and also the location that the services are running in. I can also quickly and easily sort and filter here. So if I want to uh, sort here by subscription uh, type, I can do that. I can sort by name. I can also, again, filter by subscription. So again, in this case, I have multiple customer subscriptions in my tenant. That's the way I've decided to set my tenant up here. So maybe if I just want to view all my customer one resources, I can say apply that. And then I'll only see the customer one resources. You can also drill down into the individual services. So for example, let's take a look at virtual machines uh, where you might be spending a lot of your time in the portal. From here you can see uh, all the VMs uh, that are configured on my tenant. Again, status, uh, the subscription they're running in, the location, the DNS name. Uh, I can also get additional information by drilling into the service here. Uh, let's go into this customer one SQL. Uh, VM, um, I can get it some dashboard info here. You see I get a little performance monitor utility uh, as well as some quick glance information around the status, DNS name, host name, IP addresses, things like that. Uh, I can also go over to monitor to get a more in-depth kind of performance monitoring capability across different parameters. I can manage my endpoints. I can also go to configure and quickly and easily on the fly here change this VM to a different size VM, basic or standard, different uh, virtual machine size. I can also get help at any point, context-sensitive help, by clicking down here in the right-hand corner. We'll click here and we'll see here because I'm on the virtual machine page, I'm going to get help associated with virtual machines, managing virtual machines, creating virtual machines, again, context-sensitive help. Other popular services that you may be utilizing, as I talked about earlier, things like uh, Azure SQL databases, again, storage accounts for you know, blob storage, for storage accounts uh, connected to your virtual machines, uh, recovery services, again, for uh, uh, configuring uh, Azure Backup, Azure Site Recovery for disaster recovery scenarios. Uh, there's also, uh, again, virtual networks, um, Azure Active Directory as well, so this is where I'm going to be configuring Azure Active Directory. I can get at things like uh, managing my users and groups, um, walks me through the experience of connecting my on-prem AD to Azure Active Directory. I can also get at those third-party software as a service applications uh, that I can manage with Azure Active Directory as well. Okay, finally, uh, down here at the very bottom, we'll see settings. So settings is where I can see a list of my subscriptions. Uh, and I can also add co-administrators here, very uh, important capability here. Um, you know, again, whether I'm creating multiple customer subscriptions and I want to add my customer as a co-admin, or maybe I've set up my Azure subscription in the customer's name and I want to add myself as the partner as a co-admin, this is where I would do that. Quickly and easily go in and say add. 
um, supply the email address, supply the subscription that I want to be a co-admin for. It's as simple and easy as that. If I go up here to the top, I can click on credit status. Uh, I'll get information showing the credits uh, remaining uh, in my tenant here. This is a Azure and Open tenant, and so I'll see my credits remaining for customer two. I'll see my cre uh, credits remaining for customer one. I can also click here to view more details about the subscription. If I click the login name over here on the upper right, I can do things like sign out, change my password, contact Microsoft support. You also see here view my bill. This is the way to get into some more subscription details. So let's click on view my bill. So here's the subscriptions page. It allows me to get uh, usage information, man manage my subscriptions further. You see I can, here's my existing subscriptions. I can also add additional subscriptions here. Let's drill into the customer two subscription here. So in the subscriptions page for customer two, you see I get uh, overview information for uh, a billing and usage information. I can also go back and get billing history. Credit history will analyze my uh, open credit history for when I purchased open credits, when they're expiring, remaining balance, things like that. You also see my remaining balance here, my ability to go in and add new credits here. I can also go in and set alerts right here, very powerful for uh, setting up uh, to be notified when my balance gets to a certain level or things like that. Okay, well, I hope this walkthrough of the Azure portal was helpful, and thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.